Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I am Veronica and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I made a cute bee canvas sign with handmade bee decorations. If you have any questions after watching this video just let me know and I will answer those. So for this project I chose a canvas board and I also made a smaller one but I will be showing you that in another quick tutorial. So I am painting the board on the other side not there where you usually paint the canvas board. Of course I painted it twice, let it dry between each layer and between I was making some bee decorations so I have this beehive which is technically for making cookies but since I am a crafter not a baker I am using this one for my craft and of course I am using air drying clay and then I am decorating some styrofoam hearts as well for my project so i am laying down some air drying clay onto my flexible mold from stamperia and i am rolling it out inside my mold after i am pretty sure it will fit my styrofoam heart i am applying express glue from pentart onto my styrofoam heart i didn't paint it or anything because i am applying my air drying clay onto it a little tip from me for better to take it out from the mold just use cornstarch on your mold before you are applying the air drying clay onto it after I took it out, I am applying it onto my styrofoam heart, of course, taking off any excess because I just wanted to put it on one side of my styrofoam heart. Then on the other side, I am using a stamp for this. I just pressed the stamp onto the clay and glued it on the other side of the styrofoam heart and to make sure it is seen as bee decor I am applying little clay beads on it as well and after all is done I am letting it all dry and back to my canvas board I am using this custom-made bee rice paper and to make sure it does fit inside my canvas board, I am just marking it in few places and then I am cutting out the design I want for this. And of course, all materials I use will be listed in description box below. Just please note, I am in Slovakia, Europe, so most of my links will be European based. Uh, but I am sure you can find something similar there where you live. If I cannot find the same stamp or stencil, I will be putting something similar to it. So I am cutting out my rice paper just to making sure it will fit inside my canvas board and after I did this I decided I'm gonna use the excess on the canvas board as well. After it was cut out, I am applying decoupage glue inside my canvas board and then I am placing my rice paper over there and then I am gluing it with more decoupage glue on top, making sure there is no wrinkles and no bubbles around it. Yeah. 
first I thought I'm gonna use clay on my frame around but then I decided I'm gonna use my paper there so I am using fiber paste to cover the imperfections of my board so I used that first and then to make it more like smooth looking I am using modeling paste for this and of course each of these I let dry and after it is dry it was time to glue the rest of my rice paper onto it so I am again using my decoupage glue of course you can use mud posh as well for this project it's not a problem I'm just making sure here it somehow fit the inside of my rice paper and when I think it does fit I am just gluing it with more decoupage glue on top Make sure there is no excess of the glue because that will dry out white, not clear. Same goes for Mod Posh. I am the kind of girl which doesn't like undecorated stuff. So even though I know the other side won't be visible when you are placing it in your home decor, I just decided I'm gonna put a little nice bee stencil on it so i am using a bee stencil and i am applying modeling paste on it and this modeling paste i let dry before i'm gonna paint it and wanna know a little secret of course i applied it the wrong way the really wrong way as i wanted to but i am hoping the person who i am going to give this to doesn't mind that it's a little bit off after everything was dry it was time to paint it a little bit i didn't paint the inside of my canvas board because that's where my air drying clay will go so i am just applying some paint on the sides of my canvas board and of course i am painting the other side of my canvas board as well and i am using some acrylic paints from pentart but of course you can use whatever paints you want somehow pentart is my brand but for sure you can find and you have a brand which you like for your crafts after applying the paint on the other side of my canvas board i am wiping any excess of the paint with wet towel just to give it a little rustic look to give it a little shimmer i am using my trusty decoupage glitter glue of course this step is fully optional and you don't have to do it if you don't have a glitter decoupage glue but People who are watching me for a long time know I am really liking my <laughs> glitter decoupage glue. And here my clay decorations are all dry, so it's time to paint them. So firstly, I paint everything in brown paint and I also wiped off any excess of the paint before it was dry oh you don't want to make it you just want to buy cute home decor stuff or ornaments i do have an etsy shop which i will be pinning down in description box below as well so after watching this video you can go and check out the stuff i have available in my shop if you don't see anything you like i do love custom orders uh, from 
ornaments to read anything and i do love challenges in my crafts as well so pop me a message on etsy if you have something in mind you want to do for yourself with a cut up kitchen sponge i am applying two acrylic paints onto my clay design onto my hearts and onto my beehives as well after i applied the paints it was time to let it dry and in between it was time to seal my canvas board so i am using pouring glaze for this but of course you can use glossy varnish as well after the pouring glaze was dry it was time to decorate my board so i am using air drying clay for this i am rolling out the clay inside my mold making sure it is pretty thin because otherwise it will crack upon me when it's drying and then with express glue from Pentard, I am gluing it onto my board. and i am cutting off any excess of the clay from my board i am also gluing little decorative border on my board as well For bigger pieces like this, just turn over your mold and take it out from the other side. It will be easier for you to take it out. I wanted to use a different kind of mold for the middle of my board but of course as a crafter I have a mess and I couldn't find it so I decided it was time to use this little cute bee mold I have on hand. And of course, I had to glue some bees as well. After everything was glued, it was time to let it dry. After it was dry, it was time to paint it my clay design. So firstly, again, I painted everything with brown acrylic paint and I wiped off any excess of the paint to give it a nice rustic look. And since my paint was drying, I decided I need to do something. So I'm applying wax paste 
on my hearts and beehives. I'm sorry I forgot to show you, but I did seal it with matte varnish before applying this wax paste on my decorations. After my paints were dry, I am sealing it with matte varnish from Pentart. Of course, you can use glossy one as well. And I am just sealing the clay part. And with this matte varnish, I am also sealing the other side of my canvas board as well. After the varnish was dried, it was time again to use my wax paste. Of course, this step is fully optional and you don't have to do it if you don't like to use wax paste on your project. Of course, the other side had to be decorated as well. So I am using 3D glue pen from Pentart for this and I am applying it onto my B design. Uh, you let it dry until the glue become transparent and then it's time to apply the metallic foil onto it. I use metallic sheets for this and of course i took off any excess of the sheet and i even kept it because those could be used in another project for sure so if you have any excess just keep it in a container and you can use it on other project as well after everything was done it was time to glue my beehives i am gluing them down with heavy body gel of course you can use glue as well but heavy body gels works i think better for this kind of project and after applying the beehives i was thinking it is quite enough so i didn't apply my hearts to them but do not worry i did use them in another project as well so i'm gonna show you later in which project i use the hearts after gluing my beehives down i let them dry and here it is all finished my be inspired canvas board which matches perfectly my 3d b ornament if you want to see that ornament i will be pinning it down below so thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please do subscribe to my channel please leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up and until next time bye